Ladies and gentlemen, this is Payam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create resizable UI elements in Figma using auto layout. So the first thing we're going to do is just, um, for example, we're going to create a form like an input and a button. And for that, we're going to use auto layout. Uh, so in the future, we're going to use it as a component uh, that can be re can be resized to any width we want without um, ungrouping or detaching the instance. So yeah, just uh, let me show you what we're gonna do here. Let's say there's an input um, for um, email address. So I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard. Then I'm gonna type like um, email address. First of all, I'm going to set the style to something like um, Poppins, maybe. Okay. The font weight can be regular, and the font size would be 16 or um, let's do 16. Let's do this. Okay. Now, I want this icon to be appeared in my input and when I want to resize the input I don't want it to get you know you have an odd sh to have an odd shape I want it to uh, resize properly without um, any uh, future you know um, revision so I'm gonna place this icon right next to, the, to, the, to my um, text uh, first I'm gonna check its uh, distance it is by holding alt uh, the distance is around 14 pixels. I'm going to nudge it to the right just a little bit to somewhere around like 8, 8 pixels. Right. Then I'm going to set another color for this one. So I'm going to select the, the icon is selected. I'm going to set the color to, let's say, hex, um, something like um, E0 e5 ef which is probably too bright but let's try this um d5 d um d6 df okay that's a little bit better okay um now what i'm gonna do is just you know edit the color of this um text input I'm gonna change its color to somewhere around um, like here to be both you know have a different color just a regular gray and also um, to be able to be visible to the users okay uh, this is the um, color for my uh, placeholder and now what I'm gonna do is just select this one and select um, the icon then I'm gonna hit shift a for auto layout or I'm gonna use uh, the plus button here so if I click on this now um, the auto layout in Figma basically it is pretty similar to flex system in CSS but it's uh, obviously a lot, a lot easier to handle. Like in CSS, you need to um, check and you know type down the values again. Check in the browser. Here you you just see the all the um, tools you need, and um, yeah, you can add values and change values and uh, so on and so forth. So as you can see, the uh, spacing between item uh, I um, set it previously as you already know um, that was the space between the text and the icon was around 8 pixels right now it automatically you know adjusted the auto layout um, horizontal spacing to um, 8 pixels now um, we want this uh, to be resized but do not change the um, the spacing between um, the icon and the text. We want it uh, basically to you know stick to the left of the layout, to the left side of the layout. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit uh, Command Z, and 
I'm going to go right here, click on this alignment and padding. Then I'm going to click here. So if I resize this, you can see that um, all the elements are st sticking to the left side of the layout. All right. So this is the um, layout. Let me rename it to um, input, um, for example, um, elements maybe okay for the input itself we are gonna create another auto layout over this one so notice how the height of this whole element is 24 pixels so we're gonna calculate calculate the padding between um, the input height we want to you know be shown on the website for example I want an input uh, with height of uh, maybe mm, 44 pixels okay or just let me just uh, create, a, create a rectangle just to show you for example I want an input um, width can be anything like uh, maybe 300 pixels let me zoom out a little bit Okay, and I want the height to be 44 pixels. Also, I'm going to, you know, smooth the corners by um, 8 pixels, right? So this can be my uh, input, but I'm not going to create my input background with a rectangle because uh, that way the rectangle is uh, an element itself. So the auto layout system will, you know, you know use this as another element right to the next one it can't be the background so i'm going to delete this i'm going to click on this one and again um click on shift i mean um press shift and a just to create another auto layout out of this okay now i'm going to call this input now um it automatically set um sub some paddings to this one as you can see the paddings is um 10 pixels which means this element if i double click has you know from each side it has 10 pixels um paddings so what i want to do is just click on this one click on the input um let's change the 44 uh, that i mentioned earlier let's say i'm going to create an input with um 56 um height so which is obviously a lot but you know just saying so i click on this one double click on this to access the um element inside the height is 24 right and we want the height to be around um, 56 so we are going to uh, minus this you know uh, minus this uh, 24 from 56 which is going to be 32 and also uh, this 32 should be um, divided to 2 which um, gives us 16 um, so we need 16 paddings from top and bottom both and also for the left padding so let's just adjust i want this um, element to be the elements inside to be you know left aligned um, center and i'm gonna also set the left padding to something like 16 Actually, let's uh, set a color for the background or maybe a, a, a um, stroke. I'm going to click on a stroke. I'm going to add uh, a stroke of, uh, you know, the color can be anything you want, but I'm going to hit um, D8, uh, sorry, D0, D5, and DF. Okay. Now I'm going to set the corner radius to something around um, 10 pixels. Okay, now uh, we can easily set the paddings to, um, so the top padding was 16, the bottom padding was 16. And now uh, the element is completely resizable without losing any 
you know or having the icons to be distorted all right also for the um, right padding which is not probably that important to us because uh, we want to change the size from the right side but let's say that would be 16 as well okay so if i just change the size from here let's say i have an you know i want to design an element in iphone let me create um an artboard for iphone like okay iPhone 11 I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna paste it here first of all let's set um, a, a layout grid for this one um, columns let's say um, one column maybe or two and I'm gonna just um, increase the gutter between them so maybe 350 sorry which is a lot Three, um, 340 okay that looks about mm, kind of good now I want to you know uh, put this input inside this uh, this uh, iPhone artboard I'm just gonna you know snap this snip this to the uh, right of the right side of the um, iPhone then I'm gonna uh, click on this and drag it right over here so now uh, if I had the icon also here the size would not matter you know if I resizing would not change or distort anything and the magic to this one actually uh, that's a little bit <laughs> that that's not magic it's just you know basic uh, uh, Figma features which is absolutely perfect the idea is to have two auto layouts um, inside each other. So uh, this way we can easily manage the um, content inside any element we create. If I want to com convert it to the uh, convert this to a component, of course I'm going to click right over here, and now it's a component, reusable component, and I. Can you access it from a sets panel? Um, let me throw it outside the this one. Now I can access it whenever I want. Like I'm gonna drag and drop it, and again resize the element. The whole thing wouldn't change. That is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe and also um, hit the bell notification so you will get notified next time I'm gonna. I will upload anything to the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for more tutorials. I will probably um, create more tutorials on um, more complex uh, Figma auto layout elements. So yeah, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time.